flamethrowers are designed to project a stream of fuel which is ignited upon leaving the nozzle of the gun. Liquid fuel sprays out, producing a wide bushy flame with black smoke. On its flight to the target, a great deal of the liquid fuel is burned up. Fuels treated with a thickener called napalm produce narrower flames. The thicker the fuel, the narrower the flame. Under the same conditions, thin napalm fuel produces a much wider flame than thickened fuel and burns for only a few seconds on the target. Thickening fuel greatly increases the range. It is jelly-like in substance, clings to and burns in or on the target, sometimes for as long as six minutes. If locations of small openings in the target are known, thickened fuel can be spotted by accurate aiming so that it will enter the openings. While it does not billow around openings like liquid fuel, thickened fuel strikes the target with force enough to ricochet inside and cling to personnel and objects it strikes while burning. Thickened fuels consist of a fuel thickener, known as napalm, mixed with gasoline or a light fuel oil gas mixture. The thickener comes in airtight cans containing five and a quarter pounds of the material. One of the most widely used mixtures is one can of thickener added to 20 U.S. gallons of gasoline or a fuel oil gas mix and stirred vigorously. Generally, a dry open head 55 gallon drum and improvised wooden paddle are used. Galvanized containers must never be used because of chemical reaction which may break down the fuel. This 4.2% mix is generally preferred. To determine whether the mix has been sufficiently stirred, lift the paddle. If it runs off, it needs more stirring. If it drips off and leaves only an adhering film, it is sufficiently stirred providing there is no settling of particles. Newly mixed fuel has the appearance of tapioca pudding and is readily pourable. It may be fired even one hour after mixing. However, preferably it should be stored at least overnight in a closed container. In preparing mixtures, temperature is an important factor. Thickener will react faster at high temperatures, which means less stirring time is required. If the temperature is below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it is desirable to prepare thickened fuel indoors in a heated room, which will reduce the stir time considerably. A correctly stirred mix shows no settling of particles. Aged fuel takes on the appearance of an even jelly, which is stringy. Aging has more effect on low percentage than high percentage mixtures. There is no appreciable change in concentrations greater than 6%. For demonstration, this man is dipping his hand into the fuel. But don't make a habit of it. Leaded gasoline is toxic. Aged fuel looks like smooth jelly. In preparing thickened fuels, the lower the temperature, the greater the time required for stirring. At 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the stir time is one to five minutes. At 100 degrees, it is five to 10 minutes. Between 120 and 90, gels set up rapidly. High percentage mixtures thicken very fast. At 80 degrees, stir time is 10 to 20 minutes. It requires 30 to 60 minutes at 60 degrees. 90 to 55 is most favorable because gels do not set too rapidly. As temperature drops, stir time increases rapidly. At 50 degrees, it is one to four hours. Below 55 degrees, so much time is needed for stirring that certain substances called peptizers, such as water, alcohol, xylenol, or chrysilic acid may be used. If they are added in small, specific amounts, the stir time is reduced from several hours to several minutes, but uncontrolled amounts of water may destroy the value of thickened fuel. Peptizing fuel at any temperature combines the advantages of thickened and unthickened fuel. It's pourable, stable, range of thickened fuel with a wider flame. For portable flamethrowers, two tablespoonfuls of water 
mixed with one can of powder before adding to 20 gallons of liquid are suggested. After standing, this mix can be transferred without pressure. Here you can get a good idea of the different consistencies arrived at as a result of varying the amount of thickener. By increasing the amount of thickener from 2 to 6 percent, a wide range of fuels can be obtained. This is a 2 percent mix. This and the following demonstrations are a comparison of various mixes. Here is a 2% mix being fired. Note that it has quite a wide flame and a maximum range of about 35 yards. This is a 6% mix. Note that this mixture produces a very narrow rod-like flame with a maximum range of about 50 yards. This is a 4% unpeptized mix. This mix produces a flame not quite as narrow as the 6% mix. Its maximum range is approximately 45 yards. Aging has an effect on thickened fuels. Low concentrations have a tendency to decrease in viscosity. Here's a 3% mix one day after preparation. In performance, note that it produces a fairly narrow flame for a maximum range of about 45 yards. Here is the same fuel two weeks after mixing. Note that the flame is wider and the range is much shorter. To get the best results from thickened fuels, watch your stir time. Keep all your equipment and material clean and dry. Age your fuel except in emergencies and test fire before going into action.